Do you know that every day more than 30,000 websites face cyber attacks, showing the critical need for strong network security? In this video, we will explore Firewall's key tool in defending against these threats. You will learn what firewalls do, the different types available, and how they protect networks from harmful attacks. Stay with us to strengthen your understanding of network security and learn how to protect your own digital spaces. So let's start with what is a firewall. So a firewall is essentially a system designed to prevent unauthorized access to or from a private network. You can think of it as a barrier that separates your internal network from the external internet allowing only traffic that meets a defined set of security criteria to pass through. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Imagine your computer network as your home. The firewall acts like the main door, where it checks everyone at the entrance and only lets in guests who meet your strict criteria. So this is the example. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Now, before commencing with types of firewalls, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and pin comment. So after understanding that a firewall acts as a protective barrier for your network, controlling access based on network rules. It's important to recognize that not all firewalls are created equal. There are several types of firewalls, each designed to fit different security needs and network environments. So let's explore the most common types to see how they vary and what makes each of them unique in defending our digital spaces. So let's start with number one, that is packet filtering firewalls. So these are the simplest types of firewalls that make decisions based on the packets or small chunks of data that attempt to enter the network. They check information such as the intended receipt and sender's IP address, packet type, port number and more against a set of rules. Next comes the stateful inspection firewall. These are more sophisticated because they remember the context of previously allowed traffic, which enables them to make more informed decisions about which packets to allow or deny. Then comes proxy firewalls. Acting as an intermediary between your network and the internet, these firewalls evaluate requests from an external network at the application layer. They are known for providing high levels of privacy and security. Then comes the next generation firewalls, NGFW. These combine the capabilities of the aforementioned firewalls with additional features such as encrypted traffic inspection, intrusion prevention systems, and advanced identity management. They provide comprehensive security. Now understanding this with the help of an example. So consider a scenario where a packet filtering firewall acts as a bouncer at a club's entrance, checking IDs, while a NGFW is more like a VIP host, offering detailed scrutiny and added security features. So understanding the diverse types of firewalls from simple packet filtering to advanced next generation systems shows us their unique roles in network protection. Now proper configuration is crucial to maximize their potential and now we'll shift the focus to how we can effectively set up these firewalls. And correct configuration is an ongoing task vital for adapting to new threats and ensuring robust network security. Next, we will delve into the essential steps to configure and maintain your firewall to meet specific security needs. So starting with configuration and setup, the number one step you have to do is define security policies. So establish guidelines based on your network's needs. For example, restrict access to risky geographic locations or block social media during work hours. Then comes setting firewall rules. Implement technical rules to enforce policies like blocking unencrypted incoming connections to protect sensitive data. Then comes segmenting your network. Divide the network into zones with tailored security rules to isolate and protect different types of data and services. Then comes managing access controls. Use authentication and access control list, ACLS, to ensure only authorized users access specific network resources. Then comes testing and monitoring. After configuring, test the firewall to ensure it works correctly and continuously monitor network traffic for suspicious activity. And then we have 
updating it regularly. So keep the firewall software and rules updated to guard against new threats and vulnerabilities. So now understand this with the help of an example, how we can configure it. So configuring a firewall is akin to setting up a security system in your house. You want it tight enough to keep burglars out, but not so tight that your family members can't enter. So having established how to configure and set up firewalls to suit your specific security needs, we now understand that these are critical first steps in defending our networks. However, the real test of a firewall's effectiveness comes when it faces actual network threats. So let's explore some of the common threats our networks encounter and discuss how well-configured firewalls act as the first line of defense against these potential changes. So in this digital world, networks face a variety of threats that can compromise data integrity, privacy, and functionality. So now we'll have a concise overview of common network threats and how firewalls provide crucial protection. Starting with number one, that is viruses and worms. So these malicious programs can disrupt operations, steal information, and spread across the network. Firewalls help prevent their spread by blocking unauthorized access and harmful downloads. Then comes Trojan horses. So these appear banning but perform malicious activities discreetly. Firewalls scan incoming traffic to detect and block these threats before they infiltrate the network. Then comes the ransomware. So this malware locks away critical data, demanding a ransom for its release. Firewalls reduce the risk by preventing connections to risky IPs and websites known for hosting ransomware. And then we have the phishing attacks. Fishers use deceitful emails or links to extract sensitive information. Firewalls with integrated email security can filter out such threats by scanning emails for malicious links and attachments. Then comes DOS and DDoS attacks. Denial of service, that is DOS, and distributed denial of service. So these attacks overwhelm the network, making it unavailable. Firewalls mitigate these attacks by limiting the rate of incoming requests and filtering out traffic from suspicious resources. So now, understand this with the help of an example. So let's imagine firewalls protect against threats like viruses, which can come disguised as unconscious downloads. So they inspect incoming files and block those that match known viruses, similar to how a security officer might check bags at the entrance of prohibited items. So while firewalls are crucial for warding of common network threats like viruses, ransomware, and phishing attacks, the evolving landscape of cyber threats require even more robust defenses. So this is where advanced, Firewall features come into play. Next, we will delve into these sophisticated capabilities such as intrusion detection and prevention systems, which are designed to enhance the protective measures provided by traditional firewalls. So now we'll see the advanced firewall features. So modern firewalls come equipped with a suit of advanced features designed to provide deeper security and handle sophisticated threats. Number one is intrusion detection systems, IDS. These systems monitor network traffic for suspicious activity that may indicate a security breach. IDS alerts administrators about potential threats, allowing for swift action. Then comes intrusion prevention systems, IPS. Building on IDS capabilities, IPS not only detects threats, but also takes immediate action to block them before they can cause harm. This proactive approach ensures that potential attacks are stopped in their tracks. Then comes DPI, that is Deep Packet Inspection. Unlike basic firewalls that only check packet headers, DPI examines the data within the packet to uncover malicious content or code that standard inspections might miss. This allows for a more thorough analysis and better security. Now we have application control. This feature allows firewalls to control application access based on specific policies, ensuring that only safe and necessary applications are allowed to communicate over the network. Then we have VPN support. Advanced firewalls provide VPN features to ensure secure and encrypted connections between remote users and the network, protecting data transmitted over the public internet. Now we understand this with the help of an example. So imagine if a firewall with IDS and IPS were a bodyguard. IDS would whisper in your ear about a potential threat, while IPS would block the threat from approaching you. So a thing point for you guys, maintaining a firewall is like maintaining your car. It needs regular checks and tune-ups to function optimally and protect you reliably. So that's a wrap on firewalls and how they protect networks from various threats. Remember, the strength of a network security lies not just in having a firewall, but in how well it is configured and maintained. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with friends who might be interested in learning about network security. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. 
Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.